Hey guys, welcome to our tutorial for photo restoration. Um, we are going to start with an old photograph that looks like this. And um, our first step for the first part of this tutorial is to take all of this, and I'll zoom in so you can get a good idea, um, to take all of this that comes up on this photograph and to change it to look more like this. Now we're not going to do any recoloring today or anything like that. The only thing I want you to work on is just to clean this photograph up. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and delete my layer to start from the beginning with you guys. This is what you're going to do. To get going, the first thing I need you to do is to go to the ME2 folder. And you're going to open up under um, materials for class, you're going to open up photo restoration pra practice. And here it is called practice. Open it up. Whoops. Drag it into Photoshop if you have Photoshop open. All right. And now what I want you to do is to go ahead and save this. Um, save this as file. Save as. Practice with your name on it. And you're going to save it inside your student folder. So you're not saving it over top my original. So find your class period, find student folders, find your folder, and save it there. Okay, now that you have it saved and you haven't saved over my original, let's go ahead and duplicate this layer just to make sure that we do not change anything on our original. So you can duplicate several ways. You can right click and you can do duplicate layer. You can go up to the top of the three lines here and you can choose duplicate layer. Or the shortcut for that is control J and that duplicates the layer. Now, once you have this, let's go ahead and double click where it says layer one and we're gonna name this, um, let's name it restoration, R-E-S-T-O-R-A-T-I-O-N. Okay, so here's our original background, here's our restoration. So everything we do is gonna go on this layer, it's not gonna touch our original. All right, first thing that we wanna do is to go ahead and um, crop this picture. Now I'm realizing as I'm starting this tutorial that I have um, the old photograph I've been working on in here. So I'm going to really quickly um, go to the V drive. Sorry, give me a second. And I'm going to open this one so I can start fresh with you guys. Okay, sorry, I've already cropped this picture. All right, so here we go. You can see that it's slanted and it's kind of crooked. Um, we're going to, um, first thing we're going to do is choose the crop tool, and we're going to get rid of this slanted crookedness. So just bring your crop in a little bit. You want to keep as much of the original photograph as possible. So, you know, try to keep as much as you can, but get rid of where it's slanted and it's crooked. The biggest thing is to make sure right here that you have 300 pixels per inch. That is the minimum um, pixels per inch that you want to have. It's the recommended number for anything you're going to print. All right, so now that we have that cropped and it looks nice, we've got our background copy. We're going to go ahead and start cleaning this up. Let's choose the patch tool. All right, so with the patch tool, if you click up here, you have normal and content aware. Um, let's choose content aware for now. And we're going to zoom in. And when you do this, you circle the area that you want to change, and then you move around, you click and drag, you move around so you get the coloring that kind of matches the area that you want to change. So if you get, like, see how this one has a little bit of a pattern right here? I'd be careful about that because I don't want that pattern. I'm picking up on the duplicate of that little black spot, but that's okay because I can go right in in just a minute and get rid of that. So once you've found the area that you want, you release it. Um, and even this, like I can go on this black spot and I can shift over and that's perfect. All right, so we're gonna go through this and anywhere that we see just a large area that needs to be adjusted, we're gonna use the patch tool to clean that up. Small little areas, we can switch to the spot healing tool. So go through.
and clean all that up. You guys can go ahead and pause this video now um, until you get through the step of using the patch tool. Don't use the patch tool on the face or any, like this area is extremely complicated. Don't use it on that. I wanna see you use the patch tool just on the big area. So go ahead and pause me, complete everything with the patch tool and then you'll pick me back up in a second. Okay guys, at this point, you should have used the patch tool and got the big chunks all around. Now let's go ahead and focus on the face. Um, I'm gonna zoom in. And for the face, you can get pretty much everything with the spot healing tool on this one. So just make sure, you know, that as you do this, you click often and that you're not doing one long, huge drag. Because if you do that, sometimes it works out like it did just there. And sometimes, like if you did it on the nose, it flattens areas and it ends up blending it where it shouldn't blend it. It put an extra highlight there that shouldn't be there. So you have to take your time and where there's a little highlight, you've got to click just gently. You're not in a rush. This is what makes the difference between something looking professional and something looking just like terrible. So I, could, I was trying to think of a better word than that, but I couldn't think of one. So as you go along, you can use the spot healing tool. If you get in an area where the spot healing tool is just looking funky or it creates a pattern that you don't think should have been there, switch to the healing brush tool. Um, I really don't think you should be in the clone tool with this because you're working with skin. And remember, as I've said before, anytime you're working with skin, you really want to keep it... Um, with a healing tool so it's natural. Now, going in here, I am gonna actually switch from the spot healing to the healing brush because I need to show Photoshop what I want it to select. I wanna select the dark of the eye as I do this eye. So this is an area where you would do the, the healing instead of the spot healing. All right, guys, you can go ahead and pause me while you go ahead and use your healing and spot healing to get all the cracks cleaned up out of the face, all of these spots gone, and come on back to me when you're done. All right guys, welcome back. So you should have gone in and used the um, healing tool and the spot healing tool and cleaned up this face quite a bit. At this point, and you need to zoom all the way in and look very closely, at this point, you're checking for any spots or anything that really stand out. This kind of discoloration, we're gonna turn this black and white and clean it up so it doesn't matter quite as much, but anything like this where you might have forgotten to go in and, and remove it, go ahead and click. Really zoom in, really take your time going around and check. You wanna make sure that you have him cleaned up as best as you can all spots are gone and then it looks really good. So pause me and go ahead and do just that. Zoom way in, check for any kind of spots, make sure you didn't miss anything. And in the end, you should be able to click off your visibility icon and see the before and after and really see a huge difference. So pause me, go ahead and do that and come back when you're finished. Okay, so now let's talk about this corner right here because this is a difficult area to get to. What we basically have to do is reconstruct this pocket that's here, add the shadow and make it look natural. Not an easy feat. So whatever you can do with the um, patch tool, that's probably the easiest. Let's start with this pocket area down here. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm just going to select this area and try to match it. And you might have to do smaller sections versus larger sections because you just don't have a lot of space to work with. And then once you have a bigger area cleaned up, then you have more to sample from, like that. See, it goes a lot smoother after you do that. So select it, drag down. Um, I'm being very careful because there's gonna be a seam that runs across here, so I don't want to over select. There's a shadow that runs here so I'm gonna slowly start to build that shadow back. And 
there is part of this seam that's going to continue on. So if I just draw where I know this seam is going to be, I can extend it right across. And it's a slow process, guys. This is not a quick, easy fix, okay? You have to take your time. You have to slowly go through and rebuild what you know should be there, okay? So we're gonna do um, a shadow. We're gonna keep going with this shadowy area right along here. So this is where your skills really start to jump in. Can you do what needs to be done and make it look natural? That is not easy. This is a very difficult section in a photograph. Um, you might not come across this always. It might be a quick fix for a lot of different things. So pause me or let me play. I'm gonna keep on doing this. If you want to just let it play so you can watch, go right ahead. I'm gonna stop talking and you can just watch my motions. All right, guys, I want to point something out really quickly. Notice how I have this pattern going on here. I've recreated the color that should be here, but I've picked up a pattern. Very simple. Go to your um, spot healing tool, and you can start to smooth and um, go over some of those patterns so that they no longer exist. So use multiple tools at once instead of just one tool. I'm gonna do a before and after. So far, coming along great. It just takes a lot of time. All right, guys, you can pause me if you haven't already and continue on till you're finished. All right, at this point, hopefully, um, I'm gonna zoom out and let's take a look around and make sure everything looks good. So, face looks good. Everything's healed pretty nicely. I don't see any weird odd spots. We've recreated over here. I grabbed this seam from this side of this pocket with a patch tool and recreated this side of the pocket. Um, we have worked through some very difficult things. So if we do a before and after, this was the before. 
this is the after. That looks really good. Make sure that you go ahead and save this so that you have it saved and we have these two layers. We're not gonna color it or anything else right now. I just want you to work on that for today. Okay, sounds good. Let me know what questions you have, guys.